you mentioned the competition down the stretch. What do you make of Oklahoma State in particular, and really anyone else? Uh, we knew about Iowa State being a challenger before the season started. Baylor has certainly uh, looked good, had another fine effort, although they lost Oklahoma State a couple of weeks ago. But mm -hmm. I saw a ton of the Oklahoma State-Texas game. That was my priority at noon on Saturday. And I got to say, uh, despite it taking a long time to get that offense generated and Spencer Sanders pretty much bringing to the table what he typically does, both good and bad, yeah. My goodness, the defense looked really good. And once they they kept pounding away at that running game, uh, and it was extremely effective in the second half. Yeah, I, so I think it's kind of interesting with Oklahoma State, Mark, based on the way they started the year, really struggled against Missouri State, then struggled again against Tulsa, could have easily lost a couple of those games, and even to a certain extent against Boise. Um, but then since then, they've really turned it on to your point. And I think the, obviously the defense is the difference. They um, were great against um, Casey Thompson. As good as Casey Thompson was against Oklahoma, Oklahoma State made him e look equally as bad. You know, a couple of interceptions, just a, just a hair over 50% uh, passing. So I think you've, you've got to look, interestingly enough, Iowa State and Oklahoma State, probably the two best defensive teams in the country, not the country, the, the conference right now going against each other on Saturday. So, you know, I mean, I think a big part of this as well, they've got a running back and I think Jalen Warren, I think is his name, um, who has uh, kind of emerged as, um, as a bell cow for them. I think he had 37, 38 carries um, against Texas on, on, on Saturday. So I think the one concern that I would have is if I'm Oklahoma state is, I mean, you've made this point. We've talked about this a lot. What what Spencer Sanders are you going to get? I mean, it's hard to like it's hard to know from from game to game, drive to drive, where you know where he's going to be at. To your point, struggled a lot early on, a couple of turnovers, and then late kind of got it going um, as well. So I think that's probably the one concern that you have if you're an Oklahoma State fan, just to see can you can you trust him, especially. Um, in a big game, which they're going to have another one, obviously on 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 Saturday. Which, um, so I think if you if Oklahoma State wins that game, they're obviously I think in the driver's seat to to make it to the Big Twelve uh, Big Twelve Championship game, just based on their schedule that they have uh, that they have down the down the stretch. I mean, they're they they go to Texas Tech, they go to uh, West Virginia. So those are the those are the tough games that they have outside of the outside of Bedlam, of course. So. Um, and it's interesting, you know, you have you have Oklahoma State number eight in the country. I think this is a little flip flop in terms of what we thought this game would look like coming in. Um, Iowa State unranked, but they've seemed to have maybe kind of hit their stride a little bit more based on what we expected. But you know, these are some of these lines that you're you're much better at than I am um, in terms of picking against the spread. I remember at this very time last week we were having this conversation about Purdue and Iowa. And you know, and I and you're you're spot on. I don't remember what side you were on, but you're hey, I was that kind of team that you know they could easily and they got um, you know pretty much dominated in that game. I watched uh, almost every second of that uh, of that game against Purdue, and so kind of the same thing here. You know, Iowa State obviously it's on the road. Iowa State unranked, um, Oklahoma State number eight in the country, and I think Iowa State's what six and a half, seven point pick right now. So yeah. It's it's definitely the biggest. It might be the biggest game in the country this weekend, but certainly the biggest game in the Big Twelve. Yeah, there might be some other teams that would that are a little shinier because of national reputation that people are going to gravitate to. But if you just take into consideration a conference race and implications on the championship game, I got to think that it is the most important game in the country this week. And just this Oklahoma State team, they, they again, they they interest me because they they do play really good defense. And this Jalen Warren, yeah, he gained 154 yards in the second half of this game. Uh, but for as much as I try to deflect, because I think the quarterbacks are given too much of a a weight on whether 
this the particular team is going to be successful or not. I just can't get away from, for as much as I try to emphasize, this Oklahoma State defense is good, and they just pounded Texas in the run game in the second half. Yeah, Spencer Sanders, when like you made the comment to paraphrase you, like he got it together in the second half, like he wasn't lighting the fir- world on fire in the second. He just made some simple throws. Like they they were not anything incredible. So I don't want to place it all on him, but my goodness, they seem to be extremely strong in other facets of the game. But if your quarterback's just missing, you know, the, the offensive line can block perfectly. The wide receiver can be open. And if the quarterback misses the throw, then the play is tanked. And that happens way too often with him. Oh, yeah, you're right. I mean, just looking at his stats right now, I mean, it's very, very average, right? I mean, he's completed just over 58% of his passes, which, you know, in, in today's day and age is, is is not good at all for starting, especially at the power five level, six touchdowns, five interceptions. So, uh, yeah, I think, like I said, I think that would be the theme above all. Yes, defense is very, very solid, specifically against the run. Um, but really, it'd be really interesting this week. You know, Texas, as of the last two weeks, has really struggled finishing, you know, obviously against Oklahoma in the second half, but then again, um, particularly in the fourth quarter against Oklahoma State on, on, on this past Saturday. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it could could set up if Oklahoma State's able to win this game, one of the, you know, one of the biggest bedlam games we've seen in a while, at least for, for the last uh, few years, so. Should be it should be interesting. They've done a really good job at turning their uh, t- turning their season around, which looked to be a little bit shaky early on. Absolutely.